So there's all these problems with the IMF and to some extent the World Bank as well. And the question is, what could we do about it? You know, we have, we've seen all the things that are going wrong. How could we possibly make it better? The, act, the solution is actually pretty simple and one that was foreseen at the time the IMF was created. And that was that the original plan was that you couldn't just punish debtors for being in debt. You also had to punish creditors for having too much, really. Because if you think about it, if you're just always punishing the person who's in debt, they get further and further and worse and worse and worse and worse. And eventually the economy becomes imbalanced. Because the truth is that also the creditors need the debtors in a way, because we would all be better off if everyone were wealthy and productive, right? If the entire world were more productive, we'd be able to spend surplus wealth on, you know, cancer research, going to space, exploring Mars, those kind of, all those kind of cool things that we always have trouble getting the funding for, right? So the idea behind the IMF and the World Bank was to make everyone rich. And to do that, you have to make sure that people who are, have surplus credit are also punished. So originally, this is what the IMF was supposed to do. And if we could kind of get back to that situation where we would have a public lending program without the involvement of private banks, because countries themselves would put up sufficient funds, or at least the IMF wouldn't fund in cases where it didn't have sufficient public funds. And then whenever a country would have surplus credit, also punish it by, for example, forcing it to increase the value of its currency or compulsory investment of the, of the credit surplus. This would bring everything back into line. If you punish the creditor a little bit, you've brought everyone back into an equilibrium. Whereas if you've just punished the debtor, you've made things more and more and more unequal. And eventually, unfortunately, that leads to economic problems for us all, including the people who are the creditors. So people who are fiscally responsible usually find that a really hard kind of concept to take because they feel like, well, I'm responsible, I'm not in debt, why should I allow this to happen? And the truth is, sooner or later, you won't have anyone to trade with, so it's going to hurt you too in the long run. It's exactly what happened before the Second World War, actually. Countries tried to protect themselves and their own industries, and it eventually led to, um, to actually greater more economic problems than had existed. So that's why we have to kind of get back to the original plan and do things that way. It really would work and make the world a wealthier place.